Good morning, second grade. It's Miss Nina. Today we're going to try a new type of observational drawing called gestural drawing. So when we did our shoes, that was observational drawing that was nice and simple because your shoe stays still for you. But gestural drawing is good for when something will not stay still for you, like a friend or an animal. So I've set up a whole bunch of live cameras on the Google Doc for you guys so that we can go on a couple of field trips. I'd like for us to try drawing some animals that are in zoos. Uh, today, I'm gonna be drawing a penguin, which is on the San Diego live camera. See these little penguins off in the background? I'm gonna try and draw them even though they're moving. So this might get a little frustrating, but don't worry. Remember, it's just a practice to help make your art muscles stronger, just like when we were doing the shoes. It's okay to make mistakes. And I'm especially gonna be making mistakes because I'm using a Sharpie today. You don't have to use a Sharpie. You can use a pencil if you like, but with gestural drawing, mistakes are just part of the process. Okay, so here we go. I see one of the penguins who kind of is sitting still for now. So I'm gonna start drawing his head. Whenever I'm drawing an animal, I always start with the head. I'm not sure why, it's just kind of a habit. I notice that they have kind of a curved beak. I can't see too much detail because they're pretty far away in the live camera. Oh no, he just walked away. That's okay, there's a friend sitting next to him nearby. I'll start working on that friend instead. Let's see, his little flipper is down by his side and his chest is puffed out because he's nice and cozy. Let's see, he's got a little tail, I think. Another flipper over here. This guy that I'm watching keeps cleaning himself, so his head is moving around a whole lot. I notice that they've got this little like outline of black around their white stomachs. And actually, their legs are much longer than I thought they would be. When I think of a penguin, their legs are kind of short and stubby, but they really do have like long ankle, long ankles. All right, that's not bad for my first try. I can't really see their eyes, but I'm assuming their eyes are around here somewhere. Do you guys see how I'm using kind of sketchy lines to get this drawing right? It does not have to be perfect. It's just kind of a test to see. Uh-oh, the guy I was watching is about to go into the water. Oh no, these live cameras are so much fun to watch. And these animals really do so many different things throughout the day. So depending on when you're watching the animals, they may be doing different things. It's especially fun when you can find a video of the zookeepers feeding the animals. I hope you guys find an animal you like. I'm gonna try and link a whole different lots of types of animals so that everybody can find something they're interested in. Have fun on our virtual field trip. Bye.